Oh, oh. I got a message from Craig. Got a message from Craig. Hello, Manda's dad. It's me, your friend Craig, who loves sports. I have a nice and smart children who are good at computers. I have nice and smart children who are, okay. Ah, man, great to hear from you, buddy. What up? It's, I'm, I'm still storing. What is STOR? What strong? I'm still strong? Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Strong. I am strong. What's going on here? Ha. Don't I know it. Say, I've been reading up about whey protein. You, uh, you use that all, uh, you use that at all? I figured it helped me develop a bit more muscle. Yes, I know what that is. My children are having a tea party and they wanted to invite Amanda, but we can't find her on here. You're also invited. Physical invitation to follow. Cool, I'd love to come. I'll let Amanda know. Thank you, Amanda's dad. Okay. So we're going to the party. Thank you, Amanda's dad. Why isn't he using my name? Coffee time. You know dads love coffee. Gonna brew myself something black as midnight on a moon this night. I put on a fresh pot and work on a few work jumbles while I wait for, for it to brew. Hey, this one spells sorrow. Dad, ready for today? I'm ready for every day, sweetie. Gonna tackle it. Gonna tackle it. The goodness gracious. Gonna tackle it hands on. <laughs> Jeez. No, are you ready for the thing that we're going to? Uh, we're gonna do today. The thing that you promised you do. Honey, I've already told you that I'm not gonna throw away that um, my Tom Clancy novels. They're just stacked in the living room. I keep bumping into them and knocking them over, and you don't even read them. Wait, no, that's not what I'm here about. The tea party, Dad. Nope, I don't remember that. Christ, kids. That hand-drawn invitation. Aww. I knew it. Amanda walks over to the refrigerator and comes back with a hand-drawn invitation on a sheet of computer paper, inviting Amanda and Amanda's dad to a tea party. They spelled cordially wrong. Just put on some going outside pants and let's get going. I can go outside in sweatpants. Nothing's stopping me. Hmm. Um, that just... I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> love this put on outgoing going outside pants or fuck authority <laughs> i love i'm gonna put a, a going outside pants but i i freaking love that i freaking love that hmm. here we are i knew something was strange about that message hello and thank you for coming to our tea party i do my best bow and present my daughter who thanks them with a curtsy this way please briar and hazel uh, lead us to a small table with tiny chairs some are occupied by stuffed animals and matt and his daughter carmencita are here too oh hey matt matt raises a comical small plastic teacup at me hey dude how's the tea oh. The imaginary tea is absolutely wonderful. I taste a hint of lemongrass. Hello, Carmencita. Hello, Mr. Amanda's dad. <laughs> Please have a seat. I sit down between Amanda and Matt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm going to be able to get out of this chair. Hey. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I turn to see Daisy and Brian enter into the backyard and take a seat next to us. Sorry we're late. Daisy made me put on... Um, put on my going outside pants. Mm -hmm. Sit. Hmm. Amanda gives me an annoying look and I return an obliging wink. She rolls her eyes. Hmm. Is that really something your daughter had to pressure you into, Brian? I give Amanda another even more exaggerated wink. She rolls her eyes even harder. I mean, if you're making me go, might as well. <laughs> Thank you all for taking time out of your busy schedules for some high tea. Now, if you all pull on your designated tiaras, uh, there are little tiaras sitting on everyone's plate. Well, except for Brian. Um, his is a little so uh, softball helmet. Ugh. Oh, we ran out of tiaras. 
I don't think this is going to fit me, but I appreciate the thought. Dad, you're royalty. Please act like it. Mm. Brian tries to balance the ill-fitted softball helmet on top of his head, but it immediately tumbles off and into the bushes. <laughs> I'll get that later. Hey, everybody. Craig comes out with a teapot and a tray of sandwich cookies. Ooh, that is the tea ready? Uh, yeah, it's been, um, steeping for a while now. Awesome. Oh. Would you girls like to serve your guest tea? No, thank you. We'd much appreciate our servants' help. Damn, um, excuse me, ladies. Craig leans over to me. Nice. That's me. Craig places teacups in front of all of us and a single sandwich cookie onto each of, each of our plates. He pours some tea into my cup. Hmm. Awfully fluorescent for tea. I clink my teacup with uh, mats and take a sip. Oh. Good lemonade. It's tea. Hey, yeah. Right. Uh, very good tea. I lean over to Armando, who's happily enjoying her tea. So... Why do we do at tea parties? We enjoy the splendor of upper class society, father. She takes a dainty bite of her sandwich cookie. Marvelous. So, uh, the meeting of princesses have been called to order. Here, here. But I'm a warrior princess. I hunt and stuff and I have like a really cool sword. Yeah. Can I be a space princess? Ooh, I'll allow it. That's awesome. And I'll be rock star princess. Nice. And I'm, I'm also space princess. Can there be more than one? Hmm. Space is pretty big, don't you think? I changed my mind. I want to be a space princess too. Mm. Dad, what are you... Do I get to be a princess? Duh. Well, I guess that makes me... History Channel princess, hacker princess, rude boy princess? Oh my gosh. <laughs> no... Uh, damn. How about Hacker Princess? That sounds kind of cool. I surf the information uh, superhighway on the cyber deck, hacking into mainframes and unleashing havoc on the megacorps of the dystopian Neo Metropolis. I also rollerblade everywhere. <laughs> I think I'll be landscaper and general contract contracting princess. Barista princess reporting for duty. Hey. Hey everybody, CrossFit princess here. Not now, servant. Mm -hmm. If it weren't for the princess uprising, it would be it would be you serving me. We sip tea for a little longer, and then the girls run off to fight dinosaurs as space rock star warrior princess. I think they grew up so fast. It was like yesterday that I was helping Amanda throw her own tea party. Oh. Did she make you a servant too? You betcha. Carmencita made me actually brew tea for hers. Pitfalls of owning a coffee shop. Oh. Pitfall, your custom blends are amazing. That hibiscus one you gave me a while back was a choice. Hey. Oh, thanks. Hey. It's really nice the girls are getting along. Yeah, I'm really glad we moved into this community. Uh -huh. We are too. Amanda's kind of a role model to them, you know. I hadn't even realized, and I don't even know if Amanda does either. But I guess they're right. All of the other girls in the neighborhood look up to her. She seems to go out of her way to play with them. Yeah, she does. Like, she's definitely a people and a kid person. <laughs> I'm so proud of her. You better not be proud dad cry at this tea party, James. Uh-oh. I brought extra word jumbles if anyone wants to kill some time while the girls play. Oh, wait, are we going to play some word jumble? The dad rolls on and the girls all get tuckered out. Amanda spends the whole day playing with them and taking their pictures, promising that she'll send them the best ones later. Later, We all clean up and help put away the tea sets and tables, then head out as Daisy and Carmencita fall asleep on their dad's shoulders. Oh. <laughs> Take care, guys. Thanks for coming. Bye, Hacker Princess. <laughs> No problem. You want dinner? Nah, I filled up on cookies. Me too, I'm tired. Dude, same. Playing with a bunch of little kids who all simultaneously want your attention and approval is surprisingly exhausting. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I've helped a friend a long time ago with a birthday party. All kids, the parents skedaddle. They ran away. And then, uh, yep. 
with, you know, my friends and I. It was like three of us with a bunch of kids. It's exhausting. But in a good way. But also in kind of a scary way. How so? Huh. I feel like I gotta be on my best behavior for them. I don't want to let them down. Is this because you still feel bad about dropping the F-bomb in front of your cousin that one time? I corrupted her, Dad. She secondhand smokes now. A girl? Well, those kids really look up to you. I'm glad they have you as a role model. Shucks, pops. I roll full of Amanda's hair. Oh. Uh, like, uh, Welcome. shucks. You've got dads. Oh. Okay. So, um, which dad should I, um, what's the word I'm looking for to talk to next? I think I know. I think I have an idea. I think I do. Let's, okay, no messages here. Let's talk to Matt. He seems like a good match. All right, so let's go. So Matt Sella, all right, avid music enthusiast, passionate coffee drinker. You can find me most days selling bean juice over the coffee spoon or hanging out at the park with my amazing daughter. Hit me up about 80s no wave music. Oh, okay, I'm liking Matt over here. Perfect, my cold brew set up one drip at a time, baby. Oh, on a Friday night, you're more likely to, okay. If you had one thing to take with you on a desert, um, on a desert line, then what would it be? Fine tunes to pass the days away. What are your turn-ons? Multi-instrumentalism. What did you want to be when you grew up? A barista, really enough. What's your favorite movie genre? Shit with uh, shit with subtitles. <laughs> um, what's your ideal date? We go to the animal shelter and seriously consider adopting a cat. What do you never leave home without? My headphones, both in-ear and over-ear just in case. I spent a lot of time thinking about where did writing commas into song titles come from and where did it go? Did we all just agree that it's a bad idea? Interesting. All right, let's message. Let's say, hi, how you doing? What's up? Okay, I navigate to Matt's dad book page and type out a message. Let's see, let's see. Hey man, great getting to see you at the barbecue. We should definitely hang out soon. You free later? Okay, being straightforward, all right. A minute or two later and I hear a ding and see Matt's response. Hey dude, I'd be so down for that. I'm actually catching a show tonight at the Sound Garden. Wanna come out? Yes. What's a Sound Garden? Damn, he wrote that shit so fast. It's a concert venue, but also a band that a lot of people listened to back when it was cool to have soul patches. Oh man, I haven't been to a real concert since Amanda was born. Am I ready for this? Bitch, you ready for this? While well, I'm thinking, another message pops up on the screen. Who? A uh, pup is playing tonight. Cool little indie pop punk rock band out of Canada. Should be a fun one. I didn't know you were allowed to string that many words together to describe a band. Whatever, let's go out for, uh, let's get out of our comfort zone. Hell yeah. Do say yeah. What the hell? I log off of that book and think for a second. Wait, when was the last time I went to a concert? I mentally backtracked decades through memories of denim jean jackets and a moral panic over um, teenagers turning to the cult. Oh God, I had a mullet back then. Oh God, I thought it was cool. Oh God, other people thought it was cool. Finally, I remember the strange 80s prog rock I used to listen to and mentally envision all of the airbrush vans in the parking lot. Man, how did anyone survive the 80s? I don't know, but we did. 80s baby here. Okay, so I haven't been to a concert in a long time. What do you even do at concerts now? It's true. I haven't been in a concert in a long time either, so... I totally understand him. Okay, I spend most of the days pacing around the house and thinking about my relationship with my coolness. I mean, I always thought I was cool, at least relative uh, relative to a bunch of other dads my age. Dad, what are you doing? I look over and see Amanda at the door just getting home from school. Oh. Anyway, what's up? Hmm? Amanda, how do I be cool? Hmm. 
Let me put on a pot of coffee first. This is gonna be a long night. No, seriously, Matt invited me to a concert, and I don't think I've been to one since you were born. Aww. Yeah, you have. You took me to um, one once when I was 12, remember? I'm suddenly overwhelmed by the memory of a sea of screaming preteens. Oh, oh god, I try so hard to forget. Huh. The one where I had to camp out with you in line so that you could get a good spot, and then you cried and screamed the whole time? Huh? Dad, it was so much more than that, and I'm not even ashamed to say it. Oh! You're not ashamed? You seem pretty ashamed when I found all those drawings you made of those dancing boys kissing in your Trapper Keeper. Ooh, damn, Trapper Keeper. <laughs> Who uses that anymore? I don't know. Yeah, well, you didn't even find the good stuff. Anyway, you should be all set for the concert if you remember that. Just bring a big glittery sign and cry a lot and you'll, be f and you'll fit right in. Well, it is a smaller place and I think Matt mentioned that they're a punk band. Mm -hmm. Like DIY, gutter spunk, thrash, straight edge? Come on, Dad, give me something to work with here. Mm -hmm. Are they post-punk, proto-punk, C-punk, Jeremy punk? <laughs> What's Jeremy punk? I made that one up to see if I could get away with it. <laughs> um, hmm. They're not positive hardcore, are they? Um, He said that they're Canadian yeah. punk. Oh, yeah, you'll be fine. Does the idea of Canadian punk seem contradictory to you? I don't see friendship and politeness as core tenets of the punk scene. Well, punk is kind of a big genre, uh, is kind of of a big genre that might not be as dangerous as you think it is. It became so much more than just counterculture rebellion. What I'm trying to say is just enjoy the music. That's it. Hmm. I mean, yeah, it's not like you're gonna jump into the mosh pit or anything. Well, that's comforting. And if a strange dude in a, uh, in a set your goals hoodie offers to buy you merch, don't accept it. And definitely don't go on three awful dates with him afterwards where he takes you to a nice restaurant and then forgets his wallet literally three times in a row. Girl, what? Yeah. Exactly. Never mind. Just have a blast tonight. What? What the hell? What? She dating around and stuff like that, huh? Okay, I show up to the coffee spoon at 8 in what I hope is concert-appropriate attire. I see Matt out front looking the door to oh. the shop. All right, hey, you made it. Ready for the night? <laughs> Ooh, am I? Um, well, it's been a while. Yeah, of course, I definitely know what I'm talking about. Ready? I was born ready. Okay, I'm going to be a dork and say ready, I was born ready. Because that's my kind of humor. Any situation, any outcome, I can handle it. I sleep with one eye open. I am prepared to kill. Are you? Hmm. Oh, he didn't like my jokes? Damn, he didn't like my joke. Uh, Ah, oh man, I gotta admit, I haven't been to a real concert since Pet Rocks were cool. I have no idea what I'm in for. Oh. Did your daughter make you take her to one of those boy band concerts? Where everyone holds signs and scream cries? Uh, yeah. Hey. I got two lined up next month. I still can't get the glitter out of my car from the last one. Stay strong. Hey. But dude, I get to take you to your first concert in a long time? This is gonna be awesome. Just hang with me, James, and you'll be good. This scene is super supportive. It'll be a blast. Quick question. Uh -oh. Shoot. What is scene? <laughs> Matt, let's... Let's out a tiny oh. laugh. Sorry, sorry. It's just weird because scene can be described a music scene as it pertains to a community of people who like the same genre, but can also describe a genre of music no one wants to admit they were into. Um, Matt looks off into uh, middle distance. He says nothing, but I can tell he's thinking never again. That's confusing. Mm -hmm. You'll get it. The important thing tonight is that you enjoy yourself. Come on, let's head to the show. All right, let's go to the show. I'm ready. All right. The place doesn't look that bad. After waiting in a short line to get in, we finally find ourselves in a small venue with a stage at one end and a bar at the other. Most people here are closer to Amanda's age than mine. I suddenly feel very out of place. My waning youth is showing. I am suddenly aware of my mor uh, mortality. When were the good years of my life? <laughs> Will Amanda still love me as we both grow older? Wait, is C-Punk actually a genre? 
Matt, you made it. What? A younger kid runs up and high fives Matt. The kid runs off and Matt turns to me shuddering. I get nervous when people uh, surprise high five me. Me too. Hey. I'm like a small animal. Loud noises and large groups of people frighten me. Do you also enjoy curling up in a patch of sunlight to take a nap? Oh. That's my favorite thing to do. A couple of other people notice that Matt in the crowd and yell hey as well. Hey. Matt waves and hugs a couple of people. <laughs> he seems really in his element here. Hey, yeah. Matt turns his attention back to me. Hmm. I am so afraid of all these people. Oh, let's go grab a beer. I totally understand that. Matt and I line up at the bar in the back where a couple of older concert goers hang out. A couple of more people notice Matt and tip their drinks at him. Oh. Seems like you're a popular guy out here. Hey. Ah, yeah, I go to a lot of shows. This is a really cool spot. Hey. But it's time like these where I realize I can only be charming and funny for about five minutes before I run out of stuff to talk about. And then I become keenly aware of where I, my hands are. Hmm. And then there's no comfortable place in your youth for your tongue to rest. Um, God damn it, where did I put my tongue? Hey. <laughs> See? Well, I've known you for more than five minutes and I still think you're charming and funny. Just you wait. Oh, oh we grab our drinks. This uh, scene seems really friendly. I don't know why people wouldn't want to admit they that they listen to it. <laughs> uh, let's check out the merch. Hey. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, I'm going to say no comment. But is this the guy that Amanda was talking about? Matt and I walk over to a small booth in a corner of the room where a crusty looking teenager guards a selection of shirts and, rec and records. He singles me out of the uh, across the room and hops up on his chair. Step on up, get your merch here. I got t-shirts, I got tank tops, I got all the gifts and a, con a countryman to discerning a concert girl of a considerable taste might want. You. I gesture to myself, my face flushing red. It's like, you know. Yes, you, you look like a fellow who knows their music. How's about a fine 12 inch long playing vinyl record made and distri distributed by Pup, Canada's premier punk rock outfit? Please stop yelling at me. Tally ho, good sir. Uh. What the hell? Okay. I want to say no, no. Like, get the hell. Tally ho, good sir. Or, uh. Let's see. Please stop yelling at me. I'm already kind of on edge because this is an unfamiliar place and I don't know anybody here and I would appreciate if you could just stop singling me out and I'm sure you're cool but it's making me a little uncomfortable. The kid immediately, immediately hops down off his up the chair. You got it. Sorry about that. I just get really excited about salesmanship. Okay, I don't know why. I can't relate but I appreciate your enthusiasm nonetheless. Hey, Pablo. Your friend looks so... I figured I'd give him the old razzle-dazzle. Uh, how the hell are you, man? Hey. By, uh, day by day, my man. They do that thing where they high-five, but also turn it into a hug. Hey. Your mom doing better? She's still single. If you want to be my dad, I can make that con uh, connect. <laughs> and I have to deal with you every single day? Fair enough. Who's your butt? Hey. That's James. Thought I'd bring him out to a uh, out a concert, um, pal. Okay. Uh, Pablo leans close to Matt. Is James cool? Hmm. Matt eyes me. I eye him back. Hmm. He cracks a smile. Hey. Um, yeah. Pablo brings me in for a bro hug. My dude. Why did my voice crack when I said that? Okay, I'm not sure what to say, but give the courtesy, um two pats on the back as is customary in our society for people you don't know super well but still want to be friendly to Pablo's a total car card kid plays the hell out of a bass yeah man when are we starting our witch house band you know I'm out of the game it's a shame you know vacant veil would have slayed <laughs> It'll slay once you start actually making music instead of just printing a bunch of band shirts. We got the sickest logo. 
While man and Pablo talk, I check out the merch. These shirts are really nice. Oh. Looks like the opener's coming on. Let's get a spot up close. Hey. All right, let's go. Man, uh, Matt and I walk over to the stage where a crowd begins to form. The band walks on stage and pick up a variety of strange instruments. Is that a harpsichord? The lead singer dresses the crowd. He has a mandolin, mandolin slung behind his back. Hmm. All right. Hey, what's up, everybody? We're Jonathan Jones and the Speak Easy Choir. My name's Daniel. Let's start the show. Hmm. Oh, no. These guys. What? Without time to respond, the band starts playing the most... Good. Do you hear that? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what the what is this? Matt doesn't say anything, he just hands me earplugs. Oh my god, it's definitely Game Grumps doing this. <laughs> Was that Eagle Raptor scream? <laughs> Thanks. I put the earplugs in and whatever the hell is assaulting my ears gets a lot of quiet a lot quieter for a band this bad. They sure do seem to be having fun. I guess that's what really matters. Hey. Jesus, did that Shellis just break his bow in half? I don't get this. The set seems to go on forever. There's no breaks in the song, and I think one of the band members' job is specifically just to burn poetry on stage. I turn to Matt and try to start a conversation. So, you got a lot of concerts out here, huh? Hmm. What? Uh, what's that? So, you go to a lot of concerts out here, huh? What? Okay, I'm gonna drop it. He can't hear me, so I just stop and try to enjoy the music. Try. Okay, no, this is impossible. How long have they been playing the same song? 10 minutes? 20? A year? Eventually, eventually the set ends. But only after the drummer sprains his ankle during his saxophone solo. They promise it was part of the act as he was carried off stage crying. Matt and I both pull our earplugs out. Man, that was something. I promise Pup is much better. I just have a lot of questions that I know I'll never get to answer to. Oh yeah, he's spraining his ankle at every show. They were being real about that. Hey. Let's grab another beer. Oh, we're gonna, you're gonna need a beer after that freaking performance. Matt and I work our way out of the crowd and back to the bar. More and more people fall into the concert space as it gets closer to the main act. It's getting kind of crowded in here. We grab our beers and I try to follow Matt back to our spot. But there are so many people that I'm having a hard time keeping up. As I work my way through the throngs of excited concert goers, I realize I've lost Matt entirely. I stop and look around seeing nothing but a sea of hip 20 somethings. I'm lost. How am I ever going to find Matt here? Where's the exit? Are there even exits? What if I'm trapped in this building forever? Am I going to see my daughter ever again? What if that terrible band gets back on stage? What if... Okay, you're panicking. So down, so down. Suddenly, a hand reaches out to grab me. It's Matt. Hey. Almost lost ya, buddy. Woo. I got really nervous for a second there. Oh. You and me both, dude. He takes my hand and leads me back to the stage. Ooh. I can feel myself blushing a little. <sighs> we finally settle back into our spot and wait for the band to start. Busy place, huh? Hey. Yeah, Pup really brings out a crowd. So you go to concerts a lot? Oh yeah, it's one of my absolute favorite things in the world. I think it's one thing to listen to music and connect with it. But when you're in a room full of people connecting with the music just the same way that you are, that's magic. I suddenly have the urge to pee. Curse this tiny dad bladder. And it's the beer. It's the beer. Um, I've never heard of, of heard of it put that way. That's really beautiful. 
Also, I have to pee. <laughs> Hurry up, man. They're about to go on. Then my voice cracked again. I squeezed my way out of the crowd towards the restroom. Restroom. I really should have gone before I left the house, but Amanda was watching beauty videos in the bathroom. She had an eyeliner wing going halfway across her face, which was actually a pretty good look. I'm so proud of her. I make it to the restroom, finally, but it's one of those single-person restrooms with a line forming outside of it. Oh, as soon as I finish my business, the band starts. Lucky crap! The people that were initially milling around the venue all crowds up against the stage as Pup plays their first song. How am I ever going to find Matt now? Ooh, the plot thinkings. Oh, what is this? Everyone is rushing to the main stage to watch Pup play. I'm sure Matt will be up there too. I'm going to get there without being um, trampled by all these rowdy youth. So avoid those youth. How? No. Oh my gosh. This is the part of the game where you should have been hearing a licensed tune. We worked really hard to lock it down for you. We even got permission to whitelist the song for YouTube and Twitch. But their systems are seriously broken. Ah, what a bitch. So we add the, the song that you're listening to right now. What? Don't you think it's better than risking okay. content ID? I'm listening to the song. Streamers and let's players, I have one decree. Please check out the band called Pop and their song DVP. DVP. Oh, that's right. The band called Pop and their song. Oh my gosh. DVP. The song is great and the video is tight. Yes, take it from me. Oh my gosh. It's like footage of NES and SNES games with the lyrics added into them. It's really cool, but it's kind of hard to explain right now. But you'll get it, I promise. You should really go check it out. It's a really good video. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll try to forget, remember. So we added the song that you're listening to right now. I appreciate it. Don't you think it's better than risking content ID? Exactly. To you streamers and let's players, I have one degree. What? Please check out the band called Pup and their song DVP. That, uh, we'll do. I'll, I'll check it out. Oh, I did. But really, content ID what? demands a serious convo. I love this. But is this the time or place to talk about it? Oh, no. <laughs> oh my this god. This is a dating sim about getting with dads, no less. Okay, yeah. Oh god, how did we get here? What are we doing? <laughs> what a mess. Exactly, I'm finally able to work my way through the crowd to what? where Matt originally was, but he's nowhere to be found. Shoot. So we well, I guess I should keep look. You're listening to right now. I bumped into Don't from behind. Oh, okay. Than risking content ID. Oh, sorry, I gotta read this out loud. You streamers and so, so. Players, it's like song and, and, and me reading the words. Check out the band it's... called Pop and their song. Okay. okay. Alright, I'll check their music out. Okay, I bumped into From Behind and I find myself in the middle of a bunch of youth running around in circles to the music. I'm in the pit! How do I get out of the pit? Out of nowhere, a youth shoulder himself into me and keeps moving in a circle. Hey! I guess I'm moving into the circle now. I frantically search for a way out. But all I can see is an ocean of youth rhythmically slamming into each other. Oh my gosh, how can you be serious? Reading this, another you slams into me and I lose my balance. I'm about to topple over. This is it. This is how I die. Trampled under the boots of counterculture. Someone grabs my hand. Someone familiar. I look up and see Matt. He pulls me back up onto my feet. You're wild, dude. Whoa, did I just see... 
the little okay you're wild dude i'm not gonna say matt throws his arm around me and we jump back into the circle bashing into youth left and right as pup plays a killer solo i didn't know you messed with the pit me neither i could i can't believe this i'm having fun i'm a little mad that i didn't stretch before physical activity but i'm having fun the song ends and the pit finally dissipates everybody cheers on pup oh my gosh awesome Thank mm -hmm. you.